Alright guys, welcome back. We uh, unlocked the next area, Cobble Box. Its flow is love or betrayal inside the box. Let's do it. Oh look, this chick. Jockley! Oh, what a coincidence, meeting you here. Well, goodbye. Okay. Hey, are you after the heart of Gaia? <laughs> Looks like you're working hard at gathering information. Keep doing your best. What is the heart of Gaia? Let's see. I guess the best way to describe it would be that Luca girl's soul. Soul? Just like your souls have a physical body, she has a physical form too. That's the heart of Gaia. And that heart creates songs, which then gives birth to this land. Creates songs? What do you mean? Simply said, Gaia is the tune of her song magic. While she sings, Gaia maintains itself. When she's done, it disappears. Are you done with your questioning? I'm going now. What are you going to do with her heart? Don't worry, nothing bad, that's for sure. I don't trust you. I never lie. I don't want to become like you untrustworthy humans. What did you say? Anyway, I'm aiming for the heart of Gaia, for my own personal goals. If you have time to worry about me, why don't you focus on your own goal? Goodbye. Crow, we have to hurry or else she's going to take the heart of Gaia. Yeah, you're right. We need to find it as soon as possible. This place looks so much worse than uh, the candy world. Welcome to the treasure cave. Cave equals riches. This is a treasure grave. A treasure grave? That's a disturbing way to describe it. Well, there are limits to certain things, right? No matter how exciting treasures, treasure chests may be, I thought seeing this many might make you sick. There's that many treasure chests? Well, of course. There's treasure chests all the way to the horizon. Isn't it a dreamsicle right sight? What, what kind of sight is that? Now, I know you're in the dreamy, in the dreamy get rich mood, but I have a favor to ask. You see, there are five chests here that have an orb inside, but I forgot where I put them. They're really important, so I want you to find me those five orbs. Sometimes you might find a monster inside, but I'm sorry about those. <laughs> what a mind-numbing request. I don't plan to force this on you, though. I just thought that if you really did like me, then maybe you'd do it for me. Yeah, yeah. Forces by doing that. There's infinite chests. Oh, God. Damn, look at all the chests. Fruit drop. 300 leaf. 125 leaf. Monster. Feeling good. Go, go! Coconut will do it. Sink our hearts. Give me more joy. I feel it stronger. Failure is not an option. Of course. Burn in hell. Aw, oh, damn it. Damn, look at all that food. Unleash it. Holy crap. Oh, damn. Yummy, yummy, tasty, tasty. Simply baked. I think it's that, right? 
Awesome. Uh huh. That's. I like that move. Song stones. Fifty leaf. Fifty leaf. Patience. Something. Talk with Cloche. Hundred leaf. Found a magic orb. Monster. Oh look, she's level 2 now. So is that why she never hit level 2? Because she didn't have a Ravitel behind her to help her oh, charge up? It should be. 200 leaf. Pom pom milk. I only got one. I need four more. Two. Treasure galore. Let's start. Bring it on. Now. Can we be as one? Now. Away. Now. Give me more jolt. I feel it stronger. Damn, I hit perfect. Smashed him with food. Oh, as it should be. I'm sure there's a metaphor somewhere between, uh, around that about eating too much. <laughs> I just don't know what it is. Uh, yay, three orbs. Two more. Slime, he's like been cooked up for food. And that one on the back looks like it's half the slime, which is disgusting. Way more powerful. Wow, that was awesome. Alright. 800 leaf. Corku cakes. 150 leaf. 400 leaf. We're gonna be rich with leaves. 50 leaf. Four 
fourth or orb. One more orb. Should be at the front. Stay a bottle, thousand leaf, beast tooth, seventy seven leaf. Ah, oh, damn it. You're so so too, how about that? Sink our hearts? There. Give me more One, two, three, go! Wow, that was awesome! Pom pom milk. We got it. We have all five orbs now. Wow, thank you. You really want to go find them all for me. Now I feel okay to wrap up this world. Got the key. It's a sphere key. Sphere key two A. Ah, uh, now there's enemies just all over this area. Okay, back to Cherry Town. Do, 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 do. Um, let's save it over the slot. Save it here. Alright, Infosphere, here we come. Get naked, baby. No, just kidding. Or am I? Infosphere Point, level 2, first ring has been unlocked. Here we go. Level 2. Welcome to the second level of the Infosphere. You will get to know and relate with each other even deeper on this level. Hey, back on the last level I heard something strange from Invert Brid. Something strange? About the world contradicting. I mean, we don't even know why this world exists and what it means to be the qualified. That's a good point. We can't- we come to use this as a means to talk to Luca, but what is the real purpose of this world? Oh, excuse me, I forgot to talk to you about that. This world is used to deepen and strengthen the bond between the two qualified thoroughly. The bond between the qualified? I see. Since they got to understand each other, they were able to create a combo magic in the last level. It's programmed for you to pass levels and get involved with each other deeply to gain connection on a deep level. So we'll eventually have to learn more about each other's hardships and secrets we wanted to keep. 
That is up to you. So what's this contradiction? Who cares about that? Luca! Why ask that? More importantly, I thought you're here to experience my daily life. If you don't want to do it anymore, I'm just going to make you leave now. Wait. I get it. You're right. It doesn't matter what this world's purpose is. I'm here now to learn more about you. Let's do what Luca says. Alright. Alright, sure. Then let's start over. Let me introduce to you the guide for this world. In my future summon. Demon... Demon Gel. <sighs> nice to meet you. I'm Demon Gel. I am thoroughly applied to your hair. No, I'm just kidding. Be I'll be navigating this level. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Gain access to a new point. Don't know when to give up, huh? I'm pretty... I'm not going back. This body's pretty nice too. I don't have to hesitate. I have power. Luca, Miss Ratio is very worried. She seems very troubled every day. You're so annoying. So what? Why do you always have that sort of response to Miss Ratio? She's your mother, isn't she? Why don't you make the effort to get closer to her? Don't talk like you understand. You don't know anything. Don't butt into personal stuff, busybody. Luca, you don't have to be so harsh. Ugh, this is so annoying. Stay quiet, Cory. You went ahead and left for Pastalia so quickly. I don't, kn I don't know my parents. I've always been alone. But you had Miss Raisha as your mother, and I was so jealous. But you... <laughs> A family, huh? What's so funny? Well, let's see. You can try living together and see what it's like. That's a good idea. The family life you so admire. Go enjoy it in place for me. Now that it's decided, I'll take over from him. My dark and golden wings will guide you around. Huh? Let's go. <clears throat> huh? I didn't realize I had fallen asleep. Lady Cloche, are you here? Hey, you, don't just come walking in. Lady Kosh, did you just wake up? <laughs> this is a lady's bedroom. Ow. I'm glad I don't lose SP for them smacking me. Good morning. Good morning. Let me help you with the food. It's fine. Cory, what's going on here? Well, I'm... Miss Rachel's just really cool most of the time. Oh, Croy, you're staying to eat with us, of course, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. It must be tough working every day being a knight. It's actually not that bad. Rather, are you feeling better with your health? I'm perfectly fine now. It was just fatigue and a little malnutrition. I see, but take care of yourself. <laughs> thank you. She seems to be acting normal, too. You, though. Is it just my imagination? I, I'm not too sure. Well, food's ready. Let's eat. Thank you. Thank you. Th this is delicious water. Is it? Uh, uh, um, Miss Raisha, it's a nice day out today. Do you have any plans? No, same as usual. Uh, well, um, Miss Ray... Well, I'm going to head out now. Well, where to? Same as usual. Why? Oh, no, um... Uh... You'll be fine without me, won't you? Huh? Of course I need you. I... I... Of course I need you here. What? Because you're my precious, my important mom. What are you saying? You're already an adult. Huh? <laughs> you're done being a baby, right? Why? Well, I'm leaving now. Wait, please, wait, why? Why are you like this? Be careful when you leave, too. 
Make sure you lock the doors. Why don't you want to look at me? Why do you avoid me? You're so silly. What are you talking about? Miss Raisha. Then please look this way and say my name. I'm heading out. Miss Raisha. Wait, Mom. Mom. Lady Cloche, please calm down. Why? Why doesn't Miss Raisha ever look me in the eyes? This is weird. We're supposed to be family. But Luca's home was always like this from before. I don't quite understand the situation either, but... So foolish. Luca tried getting mad, laughing, everything. But she couldn't do it. It's impossible for you. I see. Right. It was my hopeful imagination that having a family would erase all worries. But is it my lack of understanding that I still feel jealous at the fact that she at least has family? That's a different story. Either way, you experienced Luca's suffering. You should have learned a lot from that. Yes, I think I know why Luca takes that sort of attitude. Every action has a reason. People can tell whether you know what you're talking about or not, and it makes all the difference in the world. I agree. Here, take this. Obtain Mind Gem, first ring. This is a Mind Gem. Thank you. Got a new area. Flow. Mountains of knowledge. Waiting for a landslide. Melancholia. Right. I guess we're out. This is getting crazy, man. I'm, I can't believe how much, like... Like crazy sadness Luke that went to went through. This changes too, I believe. I think if you pick close, you close you get to see closer's side. And then you'll have Luca with you. I think this is the big change in picking who you want to pick to be with. Three more worlds away from the center. <laughs> Lots of books. Oh, Croy. What is this place? This is a world of books. It's where the knowledge of the entire world rests. It doesn't look like there's that many books, though. They're important books, so I keep the rest of them in the storage room. Oh, okay. That storage room is in great trouble right now, and I need help. There's just so many books there that I can't keep them organized anymore. If you can, I'd be happy if you could organize those books for me. Oh, that's it? Alright, I'll clean it up for you. Really? Huh? E yes? Are you sure? What? Is there something we should know before we accept? Maybe I won't. No, you already said you would do it for me. Thank you. The room is back there. Good luck. I have a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> I do too. I wonder if it's a book monster. To face the books in the direction you're facing. Use this to move the pile of books to their bookshelves. I'm really just picking up books? What's wrong? Are you close to finishing yet? I don't know what to say. I'm getting pretty confused here. You're so sloppy. Then want me to turn it back to how it originally was? Please don't. Okay. So, we gotta clean these. Oh, okay, we gotta get them into the respective bookshelves. One. Two. 
three. That was a lot of books. This is why Luca really made sure. I didn't expect this many books. I'm sorry I took up it took I took up on it so quick. But now we can walk out acting proud. Yeah, you're right. Let's go back to Luca. What? You already cleaned up that huge pile of books? Yes, it was a lot. Of hard work. Well, I'm glad that at least it's clean now. Well, I honestly thought it was impossible. Don't make us do something like that. <laughs> Sorry, but thanks, Cray. You're so nice. That's really all you have to do? Wow. A sphere key. Obtain sphere key. 2C. There's other scenarios too, though, depending on how the info spheres work out. But I, I, I'm not going to use the reset. I mean, I'm going to pick my choices as I pick them and just deal with the consequences of it. Alright. Back down to Cherry Town. Oh god, that rhymes. That's weird. Point. Lean on me. Let's do it. Blah. Does Lucas sound kind of upset? It seems so. Master is very hurt right now. Don't even think about intruding in it on her right now. Hurt? Ah, gee. I shouldn't have remembered that. It pisses me off so badly. What is she so angry about? I have no idea. I would assume you'd know more about her. Gee, who do you think hurt her? Huh? You're such a dense guy. Fine. This is for Master, okay? I'll show you inside her mind. Hope you're ready to go on in. What? Ah! Where is this? It's similar to the Cosmosphere, but it feels kind of different. I can hear someone's voice. Everyone's so mean. Lady Kosh this, Lady Kosh that. I know the maiden's important and all, but the holy maiden always gets priority. I come after that. Mr. Leglius treats me like some heavy burden. Luca? It's Luca's voice. I wonder where it's coming from. You're right. Luca, where are you? You're inside Master's mind. What you hear is Master's inner voice. There you are. Don't wander far away. There's monsters in this area. Oh, this was back... Um... When, uh... When she wandered off. I remember this part. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry. This was this part. Uh, this happened during the game earlier, but... I apologized back then, but I felt pretty annoyed, to be honest. I mean, ordering Corey to give the agent to Lady Cloche with me, his girlfriend there? At least do it so I can't hear her. Ah, uh, that's when it was, when I had to give Lady Cloche the agent. 
coconut looked so sick and he didn't even realize at all. That legliest guy just doesn't have any consideration for girls. I don't care if he's a captain or whatever. That grumpy grouch will never get a lady like that. What's she talking about? When we were in the Mekri forest. It sounds like the time when you you administered the life extending agent for me. Uh, oh, that time. Hey, you guys, can you not give off that atmosphere inside someone else's mind? Gee, talk about shameless impudence. True, true. That's kind of messed up. In the end, it's always only Amory who would side with me. But she's just not enough. She has the weakest influence in the party. And it doesn't help that people doubt her, too. I really appreciate that she takes my side, but it doesn't raise my position at all. Speaking of which, that guy's pretty mean to Amory, too. He treats her even worse than me. But I appreciate her being there in that sense, too. I can feel like I'm not the lowest there. Wow, that's a little messed up. Hmm. It's true, Captain does seem to be overly suspicious of Amory. But even then, I don't think you should say that kind of thing without really knowing what's going on. Ugh. I feel even more angry now. Who does he think he is, that old fart? And that unbelievable response to my offer of kindness? If Lady Klush was healthy, it would be a different story. Cap- Captain. I won't stop you, but I won't be held responsible. I can't guarantee your safety. If you accept that, welcome aboard. Y yes thank you very much. gave him that great smile and all, but inside I was really shocked. How could he be so open to say, yeah, I'm only going to protect the Holy Maiden. How insensible is he? Without song magic, it's not like he can do anything in an emergency. I'll never sing for that guy, even if he begged me. I only went because I was worried for Croy. What's up with Croy anyway? He was there too, but didn't even say a word. I'm sure there's knightly order and... I'm not saying I wanted him to say it then, but he can at least console me later. Luca, I didn't know I was making you feel that way. I see Luca's point there, Croy. As a guy, you're pretty careless, too. L Lady Close, I mean, I agree, but you're selling me out? You can refute? You can refute it? You can refute it, you can train in your spear all you want, but have some sense in caring for a girl's heart, too. Huh. Why is Croy like that, anyway? He's so whipped by our dear Holy Maiden. He's being bossed around so much, but he doesn't look like he hates it at all. That bad... Maybe he's actually a massive kiss. Oh, God. Here I am, all trying to be devoted to him, but... When things get bad, he doesn't even treat me well. Ugh, frustrating. If he wants to be bossed around and bullied, I think I'll quit being the nice girl and pull out the whip. What? W wait a minute. L Luca, why does it have to be that way? It's not that I'm bullying him around, either. That was just well. It was educational. It was an expression of affection. I don't know what to pick here. <laughs> it was educational guidance. It was, like, it, it was just a form of expressing affection. What? Well then, when I see your face, I just can't help but want to trouble you. Lady Kosh. Oh, so he says... So he says, Master. What? 
Oh, I see, Cora. You really are a masochist, aren't you? Fine. I've been patient and stayed the nice, devoted girl, but I quit. If you like being bullied so much, I'll do this and that and all that stuff. Wait a minute, Luca. Why do you take it that far? <laughs> it's alright, Cory. You were just hiding your real interest until now, huh? You can be more open with me. If it's about you, I won't be surprised to hear anything. Calm down, calm down, Luca. We can talk about this. Let's talk, alright? Now, Cory, come here. Cory is in real danger. We need to escape. It's an emergency. Please. I don't want to help you, but too bad for me. I hope you learned something out of this. Thank you. You saved us. Sorry, that was unexpected. Anyway, she's always smiling cheerfully to us. But that's what she was thinking behind that smile. It's not that surprising, is it? When people interact with other people, of course, this much strain would occur. But what I wanted you to feel here was Luca's experience while she was with you. You have one or two incidents where you felt something like this too, don't you? You're right. <laughs> You're honest. Well, I'm sure anyone would have that kind of experience. Obtain the mind gem. Lean on me. Since I made you take on the full force of Lucas' feelings, let's call it even. Man, I thought I would just say that. Tainted sky. At times, heaven is dirty and far. Oh, God. I'm a little afraid of that world. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm end this here, guys. On the next part, we go to the tainted sky, I guess. See you later. Bye bye